Yeah. I right. saw myself there, but it's called. Yeah, no, it's it's, it's quite a long lens. It's, I, I just do street photos. It's. Uh, I know, but sometimes, sometimes, sometimes some people put it in YouTube and yeah. say blah 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 blah. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, don't worry about that. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, you, you know, know what I mean. You, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good, man. Like, uh, yeah, you, the you're picture not is good, but sometimes you take it and then. They go to the YouTube and now say blah 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 yeah, yeah, blah. Yeah. It's bullshit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like I like your description of YouTube. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah 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 blah. Just blah blah. Nice one. Don't clap it. Uh, all right, nice one. Yeah, he's well getting put in the video. Yes, what's good people? Hope you're all doing marvellous. It's me, your boy, Johnny Dub. This is Visions in Tokyo, episode 11. And tonight, it's Friday. We're gonna hit the city with the Viltrox 85 millimeter F 1.8 Mark II lens. And we're gonna be pairing that with the Fujifilm X-H1. Uh, the reason I've gone for this camera body as opposed to one of the others is because it has the IBIS. And this lens doesn't have any optical image stabilization. Um, with it being an 85 millimeter equip, uh, lens um, on an APS-C camera, that's about 130 millimeter focal range. And things can kind of get a little bit twitchy at that distance. So the IBIS should hopefully keep things under control, make it a little bit easier for shooting handheld in low light conditions. Now, I've not used this lens much. I only recently picked it up. Uh, it'll be my first time taking out shooting some night photography with it. So I'm looking forward to seeing how well it performs um, in low light, uh, how well the autofocus performs, uh, how it feels with the manual focus. It's got a nice resistance to it. So it should be interesting to see how easy it is to manual focus and all that kind of stuff. Basically, just put it through its paces um, and see what kind of results we can get out of it. I mean, it's not gonna to be too in depth. I'm not very technical like that, uh, but I'll give you my thoughts on using the lens as I'm out and about. Um, now, if you're new to the channel, uh, please take a moment and hit the subscribe button. I do really appreciate it. And if you enjoy the content, obviously drop me a comment down below. I, I enjoy reading and in interacting with people in the channel. And also give us a thumbs up, all that good stuff. You know, it helps uh, get onto the YouTube algorithm and uh, hopefully other people that might find this in any way interesting will stumble across it, you know? That's how it works, algorithms. You know, it's YouTube. I, didn't, I don't make the rules, I just play the game. With that said, let's hit the city. Friday Night Madness. Hopefully we'll get some cool shots. Viltrox, Fuji, Visions in Tokyo. Let's go shoot. <laughs> Thank you. 
so far. So I've been shooting wide open at f1.8 and I'm using autofocus. Um, and one thing I'm noticing, it, it is kind of doing a little bit of hunting. Now maybe that's because I'm shooting at 1.8. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to try switch into manual focus and see how that feels. Um, I think I'd probably say I'm kind of hitting about 70% of my shots so far, but that autofocus is not getting it every time. So whether that's a lens thing or whether it's the camera, I don't know. But I'm going to switch to manual and see how we get on. So all the next shots will all be manual focus. So I've been uh, using the manual focus for the last 20 minutes or so and a um, couple of thoughts on it. The uh, resistance on the actual lens is really nice. Um, it feels, there's a nice amount of stiffness to it. Um, but because it's a focus by wire lens, there's, you know, it takes a lot of rotations to kind of move you know, through that, throughout the full focal range. So it's not the quickest uh, uh, manual focusing, but it feels nice, it feels solid and it you know it feels it feels good it feels quality uh, i'm now going to switch back to um autofocus for a bit but stop the lens down and see how snappy it is uh at maybe like f4 so something like that so let's see how we get on there
Yes, people, that was Visions in Tokyo, episode 11 with me, Johnny Dub. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the show and the photos. A uh, few final thoughts on using the Viltrox. I really like using it. Uh, that 130 millimeter field of view gives some nice uh, background compression and the images seem sharp from what I could tell uh, looking on the rear screen of the camera. Um, it had a few issues auto-focusing, but uh, it wasn't anything that I'd say was too much of a bother. I'd say I probably hit most of the shots that I wanted to get. Um, and yeah, thoroughly enjoyed using it. It's definitely a lens I'll be using again. Uh, let me know your thoughts, what you thought of the, uh, the images, the quality of the, of the photos. Um, and obviously, you know, if you enjoyed the show, don't forget to subscri subscribe, like, comment, do all that good stuff. Until the next episode, I bid ye farewell and I'll see you on the flip. Laters. <laughs>